Well, tomorrow, Eastern Washington Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers meets with top Air Force officials to ask that they speed up the process of replacing air tankers. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey shows us how the Congresswoman plans to make her point that any further delays are dangerous and detrimental to our national defense. The Congresswoman thinks it's unacceptable that air crews have to fly around in planes that were built long before they were born. And so before Thursday's meeting in Washington, D.C., she toyed with the idea of driving up in something just as old as those tankers. Meet one of Larry Olson's pride and joys. It was a four-year project. We started in the fall of 04 and finished in the fall of 08. This 1957 Ford Fairlane Sunliner has been lovingly restored and wins car shows wherever it goes. It's been sectioned and channeled and tubbed. And if you're a hot rodder builder, you would know what those terms mean. Keeping a classic like this running isn't easy and remarkably the same year this car rolled off the Ford assembly line the Air Force took delivery of its first KC-135 air tanker. This particular tail number is 1958 so, so it's over 50 years old. Keeping a 50 year old plane flying safely has required a lot of improvements. The tanker's cockpit has new avionics Olson's Ford a CD player. Fairchild had to replace jet engines, so has Olson. The suspension and the engine and the whole drivetrain. Uh, it's got a new fuel cell in the in the back instead of the old gas tank. But that's where the similarities stop. If Olson's Ford conks out, he can call a tow truck. Breakdowns at thirty thousand feet can be a lot more serious. There's many parts and pieces that we have to replace every single inspection, but we, we do it for, for the better good of the mission, naturally. Olson tips his hat to the mechanics who work on planes as old as his car, which incidentally is for sale. In 1957, it's hard to find parts for things that old. And wonders how much longer they can hold up. Despite all of his hard work under the hood, Olson isn't sure that his Ford Fairlane could have made that trip all the way back to Washington, D.C. Yet every day there are air tankers almost as old as this classic flying halfway around the world. And right now there are no planes being made to replace them. Reporting on the West Plains, Jeff Humphrey, KXY4. And we will be talking with Congresswoman McMorris Rogers about her meeting with the Air Force top brass and what she learned about a tanker replacement timetable coming up tomorrow.